Okay, hi guys, this is Shogh Malik from Coco Hobby Tech, Belinda. And Yadu Dasing from Coco Hobby Tech, Sergei Bala, Belinda. So today we are going to unbox the uh, stage glider wing. So guys, uh, we are going to unbox the plane. This is its main wing. This is the wing. And uh, this is its fuselage. And uh, fuselage is having uh, ESC fitted inside. And the two servo motor of 9 grams. And it is connected to the connecting rod to the control surfaces through here. One for the elevator and second for the rotor. And this is motor, it's a, the motor is already fitted inside the fuse lamp. It's a pusher motor and the pusher propeller. Actually this is PNF motor. It's PNF okay. motor, plug and play. Plug and play. So what we just have to do here, we just have to assemble the model and after assembling we just have to bind the transmitter or receiver together. And this attach the battery and we just going to fly. So guys, uh, this is it's a tail section. In the tail section, we are having a two uh, horizontal surface. One is V tail and one is a uh, vertical surface. This is the V tail section, like this. And the second is the horizontal single surface. This is. In the surface, we are having a control. This is elevator. So this is rudder, there's a vertical stabilizer and the, uh, the back of the vertical stabilizer is having a rudder. By shifting the position of rudder we can control the direction of the by plane, this is it's rudder, the, the movement is like this. And there is a slot where the company has provided a slot here for the fitment of rudder. We can fit the rudder like this. And there is a slot below also. And this slot fits in the tail of the plane here. This is the slot for fixing the elevator here. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we are also having the carbon rod. This is carbon rod and this is, we have to fix it in the wing. And uh, this is its canopy. The canopy is very smooth. It is a very fine finish with the plastic cover. And it is having a magnet inside the canopy for fixing on the fuse lens. We can fix like this. The, this is it's a lock. It's go inside the fuse lens. Lock to the front side. Okay. Uh, this is going to be fixed in the front side. This. And we just have to press like this. Okay. And this is. The small parts, the control parts, the control uh, control horns are there. So guys, this is the all parts which we got from the box. So we are going to see the individually. This is it's a fuse layers. This is the main wing, and this is the stabilizer. It's a single piece horizontal stabilizer with the elevator. This is the V tail stabilizer. Actually, in this box, we are having a two horizontal stabilizer. One is a single tail horizontal, and the second is a V tail stabilizer. This is a carbon rod. It's a vertical stabilizer with the rudder, and this is a canopy. In the very beginning, uh, we start from the gluing part. Actually, we need gluing for these control surfaces. These are control surfaces. Control horns, and we have to fix these here on the alarms, and we need to fix the one part on here on elevator here, and we need for fixing one part on rudder here, and for all these fixing. We need a special glue. Yeah, we are having a special glue. We are going to show you. This is my our special glue here. And this is Raldite Clear. Raldite Clear means this fixes in five minutes. And yeah, it's better than the hot glue. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is India made glue. Actually, uh, we need not to buy any glue from any foreign country. We can buy it from India only. And this is very good glue, and this is uh, this is a. Yes, yeah, so having a very high strength here. Yes. And okay. This is a large pack actually. Its quantity is very large. This is 180 gram. 
Okay, 180 of only 320 rupees. Yes. Okay, yes. so very cheap also. Very cheap also and very strong. Okay, and available in the local market also. Yes. So you can get anywhere. You have to buy an Aralite clear. Make sure Aralite clear. So it's our suggestion to you that you can use the Aralite clear. So you can get easily from anywhere in the local market with the very low cost. So the main factor of the low, uh, costing is going to vary down here. Okay, and so what we told here that we are going to fix the horn, control horns here. Because in the uh, in the box we are having, we don't have the fixed control horns here. So here, uh, Mr. Yadvidan is going to fix all the control horns in the, all the control surfaces. Okay, so watch it now. And we need to fix these magnets also. These magnets are uh, broken from here, and we need to fix these also. Okay, it's a magnet. Yes. Okay. The control horn, and this is our local glue. We just have to paste a little bit glue on the control horn with the needle and place it on the control surface very gently. That's a, we are having a slot in the control surface and paste it and just push it very gently and allow it to dry within 5 minutes. And make sure to check the direction also. Yeah also. Yes. Uh, we, should, we should have the direction of the control on the top and the cut portion towards the front side yeah oh it's good very good so we are having a transmitter receiver of a six channel avonic transmitter this is my transmitter it's having a six channel one two three and four the four channels are controlled by the thumb and we are two extra channel here the channel number five is having a three position center zero position one zero three zero and about the sixth channel it's having a two position zero and one zero is off position and one is the control uh, the control position zero and we are just going to start the transmitter it's a throttle up so make sure when you're switching on the transmitter you should have the throttle control at the zero position so the throttle is at zero position and we are switching on the transmitter again now we are switching on the transmitter and the we are having a screen here the screen is showing the 4.71 volt it's a voltage of transmitter battery okay so this was about my transmitter and i'm also having the receiver the same avonic receiver of six channel so what we are going to do now, we are just going to bind the transmitter and receiver but together. So this is my receiver of Avonic. It's having a 6 channel. At the top of the receiver is channel number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and battery PPM. So and each channel is having a 3 lead. 1, 2 and 3. See, so the topmost lead is a negative lead, the, uh, the middle one is the positive and the last bottom is a signal channel lead. So how we are going to attach with the control servo motors or ESC, we are having here the connector to the receiver, it's also having a three wire, one is white, middle one is a red one and the third is black. So of course we know that the positive wire is always a red wire. The black wire is the negative wire and the white is the signal wire. This is how we are going to connect the receiver with the control wires. I'm having a negative at the top of the receiver. I'm in my right hand. I'm having a black wire, the symbols, the negative sign of the receiver. We just have to connect. So this is how it's a right polarity connection. Make sure you, make sure you should not have a, the reverse polarity connection. If you connect the reverse polarity, you may fuse your control motors. And explain one thing more, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, tell everybody about the channel numbering. Channel numbering. Okay. Number one channel is alone. So if you talk about the avonic transmitter, it's always having a six channel. Number one is of aileron control. Number two is for elevator. Number three is for 
throttle control number four is for vertical rotor control and number five and number six are standby channels you can use anywhere what you want in your and this, flying machine and this wire we have taken from the ESC so we have to fix this wire on channel 3 okay so this is for the ESC control I'm sorry I cannot get on the number one ch channel I'm removing this again and okay and on number 3 channel uh, number 3 is used for the RPM control so I'm going to connect on number 3 I connected and after connecting make sure you connect it on the right polarity by confirming the like black fire to the negative sign on the receiver so friends we have fixed our elevator we have viewed it from here and we have fixed our rudder and we have also connected these control rods we have also connected this rudder and we have connected control rod of elevator and we have also connected and double checked these fuse of servos these are servo arms and now I am showing you that I have already connected these things and these, all these things are working properly okay so we are going to connect with the battery and I am going yes. to check okay I am connected with 11 volt depot okay so we are connecting the battery and switching on the transmitter on yes. these are my transmitters and the total position is bottom Switching on and just checking the control surfaces. The okay. So elevator control. The okay, elevator is working properly. It's right. The okay up and down. Okay and now the rudder control. Right turn, right turn, left turn, left turn, right left, up down. Okay, it's working properly. So this is my main wing and it's a carbon rod. So we just have to enter the carbon rod in the wing for the high stability and the high strength. So oh, first of all take the carbon rod and they randomly mark the center position of the carbon rod. So this is my full length and randomly it's a half here. So half rod will go in one wing. So uh, check they are our having a hole in the leading edge of the wing. Okay. So enter. It's gently. Uh, I'm entering it by rotating the carbon rod. Okay, so I just shifted the half of the carbon rod in one wing, and I'm going to enter the half of the portion in the other wing. The same, I'm having a hole in the leading edge. Also, we have to fix the uh, plug ring. Okay. Uh, before entering this uh, second wing, the carbon rod, we just have to enter this is left wing, a left wing from the left of the fuse lens and uh, servo alarm control wire like this. And move the next one from that side. Yeah. Okay. So I'm entering this second wing. Make sure you should shift the wing and the carbon rod very gently because it's a full material. The wires for the control surface servo motors should enter from the center of the fuse nest. So it's fully connected. And after connecting, make sure uh, we are having a cut mark on the wing. So the, uh, this cut mark should match with the line of the fuse last. So it's a little bit outside. Here it's okay, but here it's not okay. So we just have to shift from the front, the leading edge, and from the back, or the trolling edge. Okay. So all the marks are aligned with the fuse last and the wing. And one thing more, okay. we can uh, also uh, glue it from here. If you have no problem of transporting the plane, and we can yeah, we can make it fixed or uh, we can make it uh, flexible. Like a portable plane, we can uh, remove the wing again or attach again. But if you want to fix your wing, 
you can just glue on the top and the bottom of the wing and just push it and paste from the top and the bottom just push it like this and allow it to dry for two to three minutes and it will get fixed to wing aircraft okay so now i'm having a plane it's a fully fixed and now I'm, uh, what i'm doing now is uh, we just have to find out the cg of the aircraft it should be exactly balanced for the stable flight okay so the total load of the aircraft is the control parts the esc receiver and the motor and the control surface extra all this all so now we just have to put the battery actually what i'm having i'm having a three different size of battery one two and three okay so what i'll do i'm going to calculate the total wing cord it's a seven and a half it's eight 20 centimeter. So what my method is, uh, take the third take half of the one third of, of the cord. cord. So it's of uh, 20 centimeter. Six centimeter from leading edge. The six centimeter from the leading edge. So like about approximately like this. Okay. So this is the six centimeter from the leading edge. Place two finger at the bottom of your wing. But now it's a tail heavy because I'm not having the battery in the nose so we are just placing the battery in the nose and it's it nose heavy but we, just, we have to make it to exactly balance no nose heavy or no tail heavy because it's a pusher okay so we are just uh, changing the battery Yeah, it's exactly balanced with my the small one battery. See the balancing? I just place the finger at the bottom of the wing, and it's exactly balanced. So this is my steel glider. It's a fully loaded. I have also placed the battery in the canopy, and very smartly arranged all the wires. The battery, ESC, and all the cables, the servo, and the make sure your servo motor should be clear with the all wires and the sockets. So I'm having the enough space, the clearance for the servo controls. And now I'm placing the canopy. This is my canopy. The locking front portion it will go on the nose like this, and it's also having a magnet for fixing the stable connection so I placed on the fuse layer and I'm, I'm taking the extra precaution I'm using a rubber band to fix on the panel so this is fully fixed aircraft and today we are going to fly this plane but before flying we should have the, uh, the control surface checks this is my transmitter I'm switching on the transmitter. The display is on. Display is showing the voltage of a transmitter battery. And now I'm going to check the control surfaces. The elevator control. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, the elevator is working correctly. And the rudder and the elbow. Okay, right turn. Okay, right. Elbows are worse. Okay, so you can see from back, from big left. Everyone, left turn. Your left arm one should go upward, but it's going the downward. So uh, we just have to reverse the channel. How to reverse the channel? It's here. The long press, the enter button. And one press, it's coming the reverse mode. Number one is on the top. And the number one is the aldone channel. We just have to shift the dash mark. We are having the bottom of the display. So it's up. So now the channel is reversed. Switch off the transmitter and switch on the transmitter again. Now check the aldone control again. So when you want left turn, your left aldone 
go upward so i just shifting the throttle i'm sorry the shift stick to the left side oh it's working correctly left turn left turn right turn right turn it's a right roll and the left roll rudder control and the elevator control oh one more thing i'm having a loose connection here so i'm just going to tighten this screw with the control horn Uh, we are in field now We are going to fly the plane right now, but before flying we just have to check the free fall gliding of the plane So we are just uh, going to launch by hand See how it flies. It's nose heavy or tail heavy. Check it. Oh It's gliding very well. So now we can fly it uh, Right now we're having a first launching and the first takeoff our plane the stilt glider the checks are all okay, the gliding is all okay, and just launching the plane. The throttle is up now. The throttle is fully up. Oh, it's nose heavy. We just have to shift again the weight. Uh, we already checked the gliding. The gliding was okay. And the control checks are going on. All the controls are working well. And now we are making the throttle up. It's a throttle up. And we are just hand launching the glider. Oh, it's going very well. It's flying very well. The nose up, taking off. Left turn. The nose down. Uh, make sure when you launch your aircraft, or land your aircraft it should be or oh, it, it must be against the wing it's gliding very well now the throttle is totally down zero position and it was gliding Oh, it's, oh it's a reverse loop. Uh, can we do the rolling? We're going for rolling. Okay, it's rolling now. Yeah, right roll, right roll again. This is this model is not capable. Yes, actually uh, it's not designed for the rolling, it's for designed for gliding. Okay, so now we are going for inward flight. Let us check. Oh, it's flying. Not easily. Yeah, it's too difficult. Now we are doing. Yeah. Very good. Flying well in both. Can we go for glide? Yes. It's gliding now? No, it's gliding. Oh, it's gliding and the motor is zero position. It's yes. uh, the propeller is stopped now already. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming towards me. Landed. Thanks for watching.